Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verse is Ephesians chapter 6, verses 2. And in that verse it reads this, Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. This verse, it addresses both parents, but today we will focus on fathers, as tomorrow, Pastor Ruben, who is our Parker campus pastor, will get to focus on honoring our mothers. See, June 1st, 2010 was the day that my first child was born. I was working a graveyard shift and I got home right around 5 a.m. in the morning and it, I'd only been home for a couple of hours and had actually just gotten into bed to go to sleep, but I had not yet had enough time to actually fall asleep. When my wife comes in and informs me that we would be heading to the hospital to have our child. I didn't know quite how to feel. I was nervous and excited and above all, all knew that I didn't want to mess this whole being a father thing up. And I remember the first time that I laid eyes on my daughter. And I was instantly in love with her, and there was nothing that would ever let harm her in any way. I remember how nervous we were when it was time to take her home. And we put her in her car seat for the very first time, and we checked and double-checked and probably triple-checked all of her straps to make sure that she was safe. And I'd never driven as carefully or as cautiously as I had on the way home that day. In fact, that day I felt that every driver that would even try to make a simple lane change must be some sort of maniac with a death wish. In the last 12 years, I've eased up a bit on how protective I am of my daughter. Probably not as much as I should have, but I still feel protective of both her and my son. And in fact, I do everything I can to make sure that they have whatever they need. And this is what God has called us who are fathers to do to do whatever we can to protect and love our children and to raise them to be people who understand how to love others as well. And when God says to honor your fathers, he also knows that not all of our fathers are worth honoring, that some of our fathers have not lived up to the calling that God has placed on their lives as fathers. And I do all the things that I do as a father because I want my children to have a father that is easy for them to honor. I don't want this commandment to be something that they struggle with. See, sometimes honoring our fathers can be a struggle. Luckily, I had two great men that I could look up to in my own life, both my stepdad and my grandpa, who both worked hard to make sure that I had what I needed in my life. And I learned many great lessons on how to be a godly man. When we honor our father on earth, we also are honoring our heavenly father. Don't honor them because they always deserve it, because they don't. Honor them because we are living out obedience to our Heavenly Father. Fathers, do everything you can to be a father worth honoring, not to spoil or please your child's whims, but so that your children can more easily learn to honor their Father in Heaven. Thank you for tuning in to your Word for the Day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.